what is up you guys it is faith welcome back to another video on the channel this is gonna be the intro of many different clips throughout this whole uh, UGC project journey. I had just got an email from a hair care company wanting me to create content for them. To date, this is like my biggest UGC project yet um, because of the amount of deliverables, the pay, and the duration that this project is gonna be. I wanna say this is gonna take about a month or so to just communicate, create content, approve, and so on and so forth. I wanted to show you guys like a behind the scenes look of a UGC project from being reached out to, to communicating, creating the content, approving, posting, all of the behind the scenes look I wanted to share and document with you guys. So this project I'm working with Hair Burst. They are a hair care company in the UK. It's such a full circle moment because about a year ago, I reached out to them as an influencer wanting to collaborate with them on TikTok. They never reached back out to me, but a year later, they cold emailed me wanting to work with them as a UGC creator, which I thought was so cool. This project is super unique because I've never seen this kind of strategy before and this might be a new strategy coming up like in the future with like different e-commerce sites. They want me to create like two new accounts and basically post content for those. I'd have never heard of that before. We like to jump on the new account virality strategy where our chosen UGC creators create multiple TikTok accounts, post five product related videos to each account. I already went through with the deal. I was like, yes, sign me up, um, sign the contract and everything. I'm at the point where I am going to get the product soon. So I wanted to show you guys really quickly um, what they sent because honestly, so far the communication with this brand has been like seamless and amazing. And just the overall organization has been amazing. So I'm very impressed with this company. They sent me a brief of what the project actually is. So this is for the UGC TikTok accounts. They go through and say what kind of content is required, the do's and don'ts, like don't include any other brands in here. Make sure you have good lighting, like simple stuff like that. They also send some reference videos. I like that they're kind of sending me a guideline of what kind of videos to make and some content inspo if I'm kind of stuck. But also I get to have the creative freedom to do this. I can apply trends in these videos if I wanted to. I can just be as creative as I want. I'm just so excited for this project. Like honestly, so far the people, the company, it has just been amazing to communicate with and I can't wait to take you guys on this journey. It is content day. I am looking at my laptop right now and it has the entire outline of all the different videos. So when I'm filming, I know exactly what shots I need to get, how I want them to look like, what the storyline is for each of these videos. And a lot of these I might be reusing some clips just to save some time. So one of the things I'm doing is an ASMR get ready with me. What's inside a certain product, a product focused video where it's like a super, super simple shot of the product, me opening up, maybe using it, swatching it, and then putting it away. I'm gonna do a reorganizing my products video. I'm gonna do a video where there's like the sound that I wanna use, it's the Among Us sound, and it's like POV, you're obsessed with hair bursts. And I wanna show throughout the video of like me having more products in my shower caddy. I think that would be really cool. Going to run your midweek errands with a hair mask in your hair, that's like such a huge like clean girl, that girl kind of aesthetic. So I wanna bring that in with this project. Of course, a hair care routine, how I make my hair healthy and shiny. I think I might go into my parents' bathroom. The way that the sun is right now, it's shining in that bathroom more than my bathroom. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and just scout around and try to find a place to film these products.
and that is a wrap on content day one. I got a lot of different clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and import and edit through. All right, so it's been a few days since I last vlogged. I had to send all of the videos over as soon as possible, so I didn't get to film like the full editing process, but I can totally show you guys how I coordinated all of that. I filmed everything on my iPhone, and because my iCloud is synced up to my computer, I imported all of the videos into all of these different folders. Now, like I said earlier, I already had all the videos scripted out. So these are all like shower clips, shots of products. So you go to like vitamins and all of the vitamin videos are on there. Um, ASMR get ready with me clips. And that's what this outline looked like. Ignore all of like the blurs and the crosses and stuff. I found sounds on TikTok and I copied and pasted the sound links on here. So when I go to edit these videos and add them to my drafts, I have the music right here. And because my Notion is linked up on my phone as well, I can press on these links on my phone. It'll take me straight to the sound on the TikTok app, which is amazing. But I had a lot of good footage to come through and to match with these video ideas. So on my final cut, I set up 10 different projects. And then once I exported that, I airdropped the final videos to my phone. So this part, I highly recommend for all of my UGC creators to do. And that is to add a watermark onto your video when you're setting it in for approval. Now there's a couple of reasons as to why to do that. First of all, you don't want to get ghosted and them using your video because you already signed the contract that says that they have full rights to that video. So you want to have a watermark. What I did is on the TikTok app, you can go and when you select the cover, I'm just gonna tap on it. I just screen recorded just this preview and I sent that in so they do know what it will look like on the app, but there's no way that they can crop this video to use. A platform that I use to send my content over to brands is usually like Dropbox or Google Drive. I prefer Google Drive because I have like a, a paid storage subscription thing, so it's just easier to transfer video, but they actually wanted to use WeTransfer. Never heard of it before, but it actually seems super seamless. I got a copy of it myself so I could see what they saw. You can add a message as part of your attachment um, if you wanted to add something additional. So for me, I just put watermark on the video, won't be used when I go to post it, just for approval purposes. And when I sent that WeTransfer, I also emailed them, letting them know, hey, I just sent you all the files. I like to just transfer it with a message and also email with a message just to kind of keep the conversation consistent because I don't know which one they're going to see first. But yeah, as of right now, they are just first drafts. I sent it over and hopefully they get approved. I, I'm assuming because it's Sunday, they're probably going to look at it tomorrow, Monday morning, um, and then I'll probably do some re-edits or re-films if they need me to, but I really doubt that that's the case. That is all I got right now. I'll probably come back in a couple days to update you guys on how that went, and then once the clips are approved, then I'm probably going to be posting them, and I might be talking a little bit about my TikTok strategy of posting those videos. It has been a few days since I last picked up the camera to update you guys, and I got an email back. My videos were approved, so now we're on to the next phase, which is posting them. The guidelines, super, super simple. Like, didn't have to really negotiate with posting, which I was honestly kind of nervous about, because I'm like, what if they want to like have a completely different strategy and I'm like, I know for a fact that's not gonna work. Because I have two accounts made for this project, I'm gonna be posting one video a day on each account. So two posts a day, not too bad. And because today is Tuesday, I'm gonna be posting Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then I'm going to send in the links to the profile once I'm done posting so they can monitor the analytics and such, which is gonna be amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my Notion page of my videos. I just want a good mix of product focus and personal videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on my Notion and I'm going to organize which videos I want where. And of course I have my coffee. I have three product focus 
videos per account and two personal. Because I sent in my drafts with like that watermark trick that I showed, I'm gonna go ahead and screen record all of those videos without the watermark. I'll hit next and then I'll start my screen recording. And in case you guys don't know how to screen record without like the watermark details I showed you, there's actually a button right up here on your upper right corner and it's like an expand button. And then it's just a plain video like that. So I'm gonna go through and screen record all 10 of these videos. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and draft all of these videos into the two separate accounts. So I will be right back. The videos are in the draft. So I have two TikTok accounts that I'm posting on at Hairburst Faith and at Hairburst FR. So all I really did is I just added a profile photo and then I drafted the five videos that I'm going to be posting. Here is my little outline that I did. Today I'm gonna be doing this TikTok. Super cute. And then I already wrote out a caption with hashtags. So the requirements for this was only to tag at hairburst and use hashtag hairburst. And I can use relevant hashtags. I have to write out captions. They don't have to be super long. So I basically elaborated what happened in the video. Like it's not super crazy. And to be honest, I'm not the best with writing captions. So this was perfect. I used a trending hashtag for this post since it's my first one. And I just kind of want to see where the TikTok algorithm is going to push it off to um, just to see what that is that's the only TikTok that I have with a trending hashtag everything else is niche hashtags so, and then we'll go over to the other accounts and I already have the five ready for here this is gonna be my hair care routine video it's gonna be posted today again all captioned out and tagged it is currently at 5 15 so i feel like this is a good time to just hit post and the video is up so i'm gonna go ahead and post the other one and that is posted as well super unique project though i will say but i'll come back tomorrow when i do my second post and i'll show you guys the analytics with this okay so today we are on day three of the hair burst posting honestly not too bad this hair care routine video did really well engagement rate wise which is awesome um but i have only three followers on each account um let's see a total of 27 likes on this account and 22 on this account so not so bad but obviously by the time that this video comes up all of the content will be posted the next two days of them if you want to see how all of my videos turn out then go ahead and follow me this is at hairburst faith and then at hairburst fr my profile photos are on both of them really cool to just add on into my portfolio as well like the videos and the links to the tiktok accounts it's just you know expands my experience with tiktok management another thing that is required with this project is i do have to interact with comments and there were a few comments on some of the videos most of them were from hairburst themselves interacting i'm just going on the accounts like once a day when i'm posting to see if there's any new comments and i'll just respond to those but yeah that is the whole posting process and content creating process for this UGC project. If you want more of these kind of videos, let me know down in the comments below. I think it'd be super interesting to see all of these different projects and how they turn out to be, the deliverables, and just the whole entire behind the scenes. If you guys want more videos about UGC, I have a full playlist on my channel. I'll link it down below for you guys to check out if you're new to the space or looking to get started. If you wanna go support, if you just wanna see what kind of UGC content I made, go ahead and check out those TikTok accounts. I'll link those down below as well. It would mean so much to me. But with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next vlog really soon. Bye.